Check out this mountain lion. So mountain lions, although they are pretty common amongst us, they are very elusive and people usually don't spot them. Not in this case. The puma seems to be just stalking them in some kind of way. They barely notice it at first, and thank goodness they did because who knows what could have happened. You want some? How about the air thing? Yeah, you got it? But don't be careful. Just whistle if it comes at us. This is an insane video y'all. This is in Eastern Oregon. So a guy is on a dirt bike and starts to really accelerate when much to his chagrin, a huge mountain lion runs out in the road and amazingly didn't get hit. Want to know how amazing cat's reflexes are? You really see it when you slow it down, like how the puma is right there and then at the last minute is able to react. I mean, amazing stuff. This cat would have been a goner if it had gotten hit, and possibly this man too, for as fast as he was going. Insane. Hell to the gnaw, bro. Look at here. Hell to the gnaw. So just imagine you are fishing. And what do you see in the water? Is it a shark? Nope. An aggressive barracuda? Nope. How about a hissing mountain lion? Like, in the water. Folks, you just can't make this stuff up. Always watch your back while hiking. You never know what might be following you. Do y'all see what I see? Bruh. I've done a video on this before, but just as a reminder, if you are out hiking or you are in the woods and you happen to see a mountain lion, do not make any quick, fast movements, okay? Um, do not crouch down or bend over. Um, you need to up, try to appear as big as possible. So stand straight up, like try to appear tall. Um, I'm talking Shaquille O'Neal status. What you don't wanna do is bend over and uh, you know make yourself smaller because then you may look like prey make sure that you're maintaining eye contact i know this would be absolutely terrifying but you need to keep your eye on this mountain lion also if you're out hiking make sure that you bring something to protect yourself a knife a gun bear spray like something how are you gonna be out hiking you don't have nothing to protect yourself but you didn't forget your bottle of water like make it make sense in this video, this hiker was making very slow movements, um, and he also kept saying he had his pistol. So, you know, he was ready to go, just in case the, the mountain lion decided that it was gonna be on and popping. Thankfully, this mountain lion eventually just wanders away um, and, and leaves. But I know that this was completely terrifying, but the hiker handled it very, very well. So as a recap class, <laughs> do not run. Don't crouch down or bend over. Don't make any sudden, quick, fast movements. You better appear as big as possible. Make sure you have something to protect yourself. 
maintain eye contact and pray, honey. Okay? Love y'all. Bye. Ever heard of a mountain lion scream? <laughs> yeah, me neither until now. This sounds like something out of a horror movie. Hold on there, kitty. So somewhere in the woods of Colorado, this hiker noticed a mountain lion that was just there and man, I don't know how he saw this big cat. Like, it blends in with the scenery there and would have been so easy to overlook, which is much of what these cats rely on to hunt. Luckily, the puma figured out that it had been outed and it went about its business peacefully. Back on out of here. Back on out of here. I would imagine this has to be a once in a lifetime shot, right? So like, not one, not two, not three, but four mountain lions on the porch of this Colorado home. Like, I don't think you understand how rare this is to get this type of footage on camera probably never happened. The cougars hang out for a while on the porch and I think they eventually can instinctively feel that they're being watched, so they bounce. But how beautiful and frightening at the same damn time. This takes place in Montana when this photographer gets excellent footage of an adult cougar. The big beautiful cat evidently sees the photographer and starts to move more cautiously, but neither attacks nor runs away. I can just imagine this cat saying, screw this, and then charging the man. Thankfully that's just my imagination in this case. Mr. Dio, Dio, Tom, Dio, Dio. Listen to this demon and how she sounds. So this, I believe, is some kind of big cat rehabilitation place or something. So she is literally ready to rip this man apart and she ain't playing. So after trying to get this puma to, you know, cooperate with the little noose, the powerful cat starts to break loose. You got it, you got it. All right, top guy. Top. Magically, they end up calming the animal down, and the dude is even touching her. Bruh. Hail to the knob. This cat probably doesn't understand what would have happened if this glass was not there. The cat would have been a snack and he wouldn't even know what hit him. They're out back. Tommy, are you kidding me? Shh, you want to scare the cat? They're still in bed. 
They're still in bad shape. That is not funny. You about gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Oh shit, there's a mountain lion. Fuck. Hey little kitty. Alright, move on. This dude is walking this path when he sees a big mountain lion right there. However quickly he saw this mountain lion, you can be sure the cat saw him long before he saw the cat. The mountain lion is probably a good 80 to 100 yards away, but is just standing there watching this man. I would have turned my black ass around and headed the other way. Hiking on the trail, there's a mountain lion. Right there. It's probably like 50 feet away from me. Standing right at me. I barely saw him. Oh shit. No! Hey! 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 Back up! Another day, another hiker, another mountain lion sighting. This one is very close to the hiker, and the hiker mentions he noticed the cat at the last minute. The mountain lion started to advance towards the man to come give him a big kiss. But uh, dude wasn't having it. He got loud with the lion, which was probably a good idea, I think, because uh, it was definitely enough to get the cat away from him. Like, I definitely feel this guy would have gotten attacked. So does this husky and the German Shepherd not know what they are messing with? The fearless dogs harass the puma for several minutes. Like you can tell the mountain lion is kind of confused, yet still at the same time is very confident. I mean it must know, like these dogs are no match for me. I'm the one with the speed and the power. So it's not really worth it to risk your dog's life like this. I mean maybe that's just me. So there's a man out hiking with his dog when they encounter a mountain lion. The dog is smart because although it's definitely being very mouthy with the cougar, I'm sure something in the back of its mind tells the dog that uh, this ain't a cat to mess with, bruh. And the dog would be absolutely correct. Come. Timber, come. that is stuck in a trap is saved by a brave man who could have been ripped to pieces.
So that is Dutch Pharaoh. That's his name. Dutch Pharaoh roaring back at a mountain lion and scaring it away on Saturday. The 21-year-old hiker said the lion was ready to pounce, and you can see that, right? Yes. When his primal, his primal instincts oh my gosh. kicked in. Oh. Fight or flight, survival of the fittest, you know, do or die. You know, that was what's really going through my head. And so, you know, I let out a roar and I told him to take a Oh, look at that. Make a right look at that. So can yeah, That's a mountain lion. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. I'm sorry, do I turn here? That is amazing. This happened last year in Austin, Texas, which is one of my favorite cities in America. A police officer is on patrol when he spots a mountain lion, which is pretty crazy because not only is it in the middle of the day, it looks like, but it's in a residential neighborhood. Like, in a major city. He freaks out just like I would have done. New at six o'clock, imagine looking out your bedroom window and seeing not one, but two mountain lions. KPIX 5's Evan Feely shows us the incredible close encounter in the Santa Cruz Mountains. This happens in Santa Cruz where two full grown mountain lions are playing outside, like right there, right in front of the window. Let me ask you a question. If someone paid you to walk outside right there, and stand there for five seconds. And if you survive, you can walk right back inside. Like, how much money would it take? I don't think I would do it even for a hundred million dollars. Like, not kidding. A frighteningly close encounter in Northwestern Alberta. A man out for an evening jog found himself face to face with two cougars on a remote trail about 100 kilometers southeast of Grand Prairie. And he got it on video. Amanda Anderson has the story. Okay, so. Just saw two cougars up here. Folks, you can't make this stuff up. So this jogger was running by and actually spotted two mountain lions. He just kind of admired them and kept going about his business. But then he heard something running up on him from behind. Luckily, he had his bear spray and this stopped a potential attack. Get out of here. It went from like being ecstatic to seeing them to being like really scared. We just saw two cougars up here. Dr. Mark Boyce, an ecology professor at the U of A, says this kind of running is rare. It's surprising in view of the fact that we've got thousands of, of cougars and the number of, of human contacts with, with uh, cougars is, is very, very few. According to this expert, runners are at a higher risk. Just because they're, they're running and uh, if the cougar sees one run by, it, it uh, will sometimes chase after. My guess is that the prey drive like was triggered when, you know, the cat saw the man running by. Luckily, he must have not been listening to music like I would have because my black ass would have been dead. But that probably saved his life. There's a new video of the mountain lion spotted in a Simi Valley community. It was seen again this morning after it attacked two dogs the night before. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live with the latest on the search. Tina. This is in Simi Valley, California, where a mountain lion is patiently waiting by the door of this home to hopefully get a meal from one of the family dogs, with the dog itself being on the menu, of course. A schnauzer in the area had recently been killed by a mountain lion, although not sure if it was this one that did it. Anyway, the mountain lion turned out to be a bit emaciated and had a tracking collar on it that wasn't working. Officials came in and had it replaced and removed the dangerous cat. When Jovan Humphrey moved here, wonderful area, full of surprises. It was likely her last move. It came through this entrance. Where the city meets country. It's National Geographic in here sometimes. This happens in Rowlett, which is a suburb in Dallas County, where a rare mountain lion was spotted. A mountain lion sighting is pretty strange in the Dallas area, so this is kind of a big deal. Crazily enough, this same puma was killed by a hunter not long after this video um, in Hunt County, which is maybe 20 or 30 uh, miles away from where this happened at. So that kind of sucks because, I mean, after all, we exist in the mountain lion's world, not vice versa. 